My name is Jason, and I'll be talking about tenderness from my album Anako. Show me before you haunt me on the screen. Will my affection pull the string? Tenderness is about imagining yourself laying in bed and thinking about your new romantic partner, going through a crush's Instagram. This track came up because I was I was feeling pretty like into R&B music at the time. I um, started with this vintage drum machine and I started playing it on my MIDI keyboard. Just the... I feel like it's such a dancey, like floaty drum beat. The guitar part was probably the second most important for the song because it's so languid and it's just held. I kind of wanted to mimic like a piano, as if, it, if the piano player was like just holding down the notes and like sustaining them. That was the foundation for the whole song. And then I came up with the uh, vocals and I really wanted it to sound like intimate and like as if someone recorded it a long time ago, someone talking through the phone talking to their new romantic partner and like really pleading with them. Tell me, did you fall in at first glance? Do you think you'll take a chance? Originally, that was supposed to be the whole track, a minute and 30 seconds until I made the decision to make this big, like funky song. <laughs> I really wanted Tenderness to sound like a Steely Dan song. If uh, Steely Dan came out in 2019, I really wanted to use the same sort of instrumentation. They have like a Wurlitzer piano, and they got like a really plucky sort of motivating bass, and like really like shuffly drums, and like plinky guitar parts too. I am a melody first, lyrics last person. So it's much easier for me to hear a melody in my head and build a song that way. And then I think about lyrics last and how they can relate with the arrangement of the song. I picture the song playing in malls or yachts at yacht parties. Hopefully people, uh, really extremely wealthy people, find this on Spotify or something on their chill out indie playlist and they blast it. 